if you just make the same content over and over and over again, it's, you know, it's gonna get boring. Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to vlog of a small YouTuber number 12. And today, in this vlog, we're gonna talk about something that um, I noticed since I started the vlog. I, I've been doing it for a while now, but something since about when I started the vlog, and that is the constant evolution of my own content. Now quickly I want to say this video is sponsored by all of you guys at Steemit. Thank you for supporting me and liking my stuff, you know. Uh, Steemit, while I'm trying to build, you know, ways of revenue, Steemit is a great way to help with the rev with revenue situation. So if you, if, you know, if you can't donate money, all you gotta do is make a Steemit account and like some of my posts. That literally, if you liked, like, I think like four posts, that would end up sending two cents my way at the cost of nothing for you. So check it out. I make some original Steemit type stuff there, and I'm actually doing a lot of live streaming there. Okay, so for the video for today, I wanna talk about the evolution of my own content. And this is something I noticed I've been doing a lot more of than normal. And so if you look back, you know, if you just scroll through the backlog of my video content, you notice, you know, let's just say when I started making this video, when I started the series, right? I was making kind of Battlefield 1, Call of Duty, then I went heavy on Call of Duty. Then if you were actually paying attention to like my channel, I had Notification Squad on, I was really heavy into live streaming. Okay, then I was heavy into PUBG, Call of Duty, more Call of Duty, and now it's back to Battlefield and PUBG and casual gaming. I'm actually doing the video, you know, my, my name is Pacific the Casual Gamer. I'm actually making casual gaming videos now, right? So, you know, the evolution of my content, and this, it's quite interesting to, to watch at, you know, quite interesting to watch and see, you know, where the foundation of it is. Where is the foundation of my content? It's me talking about video games, you know, in the way that I, I like talking about them right now. I want to talk about these video games this way right now, right? And then like one, literally like one week down the line, I want to talk about these video games. I want to talk about these and these and these. And I just keep flip-flopping. And I don't necessarily think that is a bad thing. You know, if you look at my Steemit account, oh my God, my Steemit account is like my YouTube account, but like every day is something different, right? I've been flip-flopping around. I'm like, I want to upload my videos to DTube as well. And then I'm like, wait, I don't want to do this. I don't I want to live stream on DLive. I want to live stream on Twitch. And I think that making videos, being like, oh, I'm only live streaming on the weekends. I did that for one weekend. I only live streamed on the weekend. And then the Tuesday after that weekend, I did like a daily stream on DLive. It's like, why even make the videos explaining to your audience that you're gonna change. If, you know, YouTube 20, 2018, you know that the content creator is gonna change. Everyone knows that all content creators change. Just look at someone like Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, any big YouTuber, maybe not the Game Grumps. The Game Grumps, I would say, the Game Grumps have a very branded show that just keeps evolving, right? But there are some other big YouTubers, like look at PewDiePie, PewDiePie, horror gamer. Funny gamer, comedy sketch, back to funny games, weird things, and comedy sketches. Now he's a commentator, and now he makes fun of the U He's a YouTube meta commentator. Like, I'm, uh, uh, that's what I gotta say. Uh. But I think it's important to keep evolving your content because if you make the same thing over and over again, this is one of the reasons why Let's Play channels, after they, the initial ones just do a bam, grew big. This is why they died out really fast is if you just make the same content over and over and over again, it's, you know, it's gonna get boring. That's, if you watch YouTubers who say they wanna quit, most of the time I see it as, you know, they tried to get big, right? And they, they're not getting the audience. So if you cut out all those people that quit because they're not growing an audience and they quit because of, you know, their con they quit YouTube because of their content, most of the time it's because they're not trying new things. Now, if you look at my content, once again, I will say this. It is generally the same stuff, right? Generally, um, I'm in front of the camera or I'm in front of the microphone and I'm talking about a video game. It is the way that I talk about the video games that as I've kept changing and the topics that I pick 
have just kept changing. And of course, you know, the thumbnails have been changing as well. And I, I just think it is so important to not make the same thing every time. I really, uh, people that have niche channels, like, um, let's just say the Kerbal Space Program people, they, I'm amazed at people that could grow their channel when Kerbal Space Program, when KSP was big. I'm amazed at people that could just, bam, grow their channel playing one game. But if you look at Scott Manley now, let's just take Scott Manley. He's the most prominent KSP YouTuber and he barely makes KSP videos anymore. He makes videos about, you know, space tech and other space games. So why would you keep evolving your content? This is a question that I think most of us have to answer. And I think it's a very simple answer is you need to constantly improve your skills and get out of your comfort zone. Something that um, many of you don't know is this type of video where I talk to the camera. I've been making these for a long time. Oh God, that's been so long. But this video format started in another video format, which was the live commentary where I was playing a game like this. And I would talk, 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 cut. And then the gameplay would whatever and I'd still be here to go talk, 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 cut. Oh, I killed someone, yay, cut. You know, that, that's the video type I would make. And I figured out how to make this other video type, this video type talking here. I combined them to make the live stream content. And then I've constantly been updating this form of content, right? Like right now, I, like, do I even use gameplay? Not really. But let's just take this casual gaming thing, for example, right? If you guys have been looking at my content, you notice a lot of casual gaming topics, easy to use weapons in video games. Are video games casual or are they hardcore? Should you stay away from them if you're a casual gamer, right? I've made videos like that before, but I had to name myself Pacific the Casual Gamer. And I also started making, before this, I started making weapon tips videos on how to use different weapons in mainly Call of Duty and Battlefield 1, right? And that started because I was live streaming and I decided to make those thumbnails live, just boom, right? So I did the cut com, I started making this type of video I'm making now, learned how to live stream, learned how to make thumbnails, live stream myself making thumbnails, made thumbnails for tips videos, and then put it into casual gaming tips thumbnails. So that is where evolution of content, as you can see, leads to a staircase of ideas. So that's really it for this video. I know this video is all over the place. This is just a video that popped into my head and I was in the middle of recording another video, so I just decided to make this one. If you enjoyed, you could tell me in the comments below. Tell me about your thoughts about evolving your content. If you make content, what are kind of some of the steps that maybe you've evolved it from? Or maybe you haven't evolved it yet and it's so good and you have so much creative space in your content that you really don't need to evolve it much anymore. But I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post, whatever I decide to make.